Okay, so I've drawn on the board a regular hexagon, or as best a regular, regular hexagon as I can draw freehand. Now, what we're going to be looking at in this video are the difference between interior and exterior angles. Now, the interior angles make sense, okay? The interior angles, as we call them, are these things here. The angles inside the shape, so that makes sense to be interior angles. Now, the exterior angles aren't quite what you want them to be. It would be lovely if by exterior we meant this angle here, but it's not. It's not quite that. So, the exterior angles are found by extending each of the sides of the hexagon. So if I extend it somewhat, like so, Okay, so then the exterior angles are these. Now, the good thing about that is that they have a very important property and a very valuable property at that. Now what I want you to imagine is that, let's say, let's say that this is the top of someone's head, okay, and this is their garden, and this is how they walk around their garden. So as this little person is walking around his garden, at each of the corners he has to make a turn, okay, and as he goes all the way around, when he gets back to where he started, he has made a 360 degree turn. Effectively, he's gone all the way around in a circle. So, that must mean that each of these angles that represents the turn as he goes, must add up to 360 degrees. So that opens up the fact that if all of those red angles, the exterior angles, add up to 360 degrees, I can then very easily work out what each one of them must be equal to. So the exterior angles for a hexagon like this must be 360 degrees divided by 6. Because this is a regular hexagon, each one of those exterior angles will be the same angle. So 360 divided by 6 would be 60 degrees. So each one of those is 60. So that eventually you get all the way back to 360 degrees, all the way back to where you start. So if each of the interior, exterior angles, sorry, is 60 degrees, then the interior angle can be found because the exterior angle and interior angle are on a straight line. So the interior angle must be 180, take away that 60. So each one must be 120 degrees. Okay. Now, beforehand, uh, in the previous video, when we looked at the hexagon and the actual total of all the interior angles, we found that they added up to 720 degrees. So, six lots of 120, well, that is equal to 720 degrees, as expected. So, you can see how it works. 
And this idea of the exterior angles adding up to 360 can be utilised. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the type of problem that you might face.